And welcome back everyone to a Druid's Duel. This is episode 2 with Malmaster again. So, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to work on campaign a little bit more. Yesterday we did the first little tutorial mission. And uh, we didn't do too hot. But hopefully now that we know kind of the ropes of the characters, we can get into it. And actually play a little bit more competitively with the game itself. So, let's jump in here. Um, start a new campaign again because we just did tutorial mode. Um, we'll go here. Because I don't know progression wise how we have to go. Alright, so every one of your druids can move and act on your turn in any order you wish. We kind of figured that out already. You can place new druids on any piece of land you already own. Kind of knew that. Transforming into animals is the key to victory. Kind of figured that out as well. Alright, our turn. We are blue again. Yeah, blue. All right, so. Now we start out kind of losing there. Uh, no mana. So let's move you here. There. And you. Here. Grab ourselves another druid. Put in there. And we'll call that good. All right, so we got 12 mana this time. That's even better. All right, so we're going to go... Yo, yo, you, sir, take out him. There we go. You, sir, move a space here. Oh, so bridges don't actually count as spaces acquired. Gotcha. Okay. And we'll drop in one of you there. You son of a gun. Alright. How can he... Does he have a certain range attack thing? Huh, okay. Um, it's our other guy here. Let's move him... Here. Then we'll go this, that, there. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, more spaces, that's not good. Ah, no, we lose again. All right, let's just use up our mana here. Do that, move him here. What else do we have for choices? Yeah, we're dead. Isn't that end of game? We can't do anything. Oh, I know why. Because they have to capture... That's not even fair. We know it's... Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Um... Oh. Well, let's restart your turn. Oh... All right. All right, it's a little bit harder here. Hmm, let's do a little thinking. So, this guy, I guess, has unlimited range, which is an issue. So he can basically take out one person, any person, on the on the board each turn, to an extent. So what we're gonna do is first huh. let's take. And just get our spaces. Okay, so that's more mana. Place down another guy. And we'll call that good. Oh, he didn't attack this time. Okay, that's good. That gives us a little break. Now we have 14. Now we can either place two druids. Or we can use one ability, which might actually be worth it. Um, let's use his ability. So go there, 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 there. So we get more spaces. And go here, go there, and here. And so basically we're just trying to conquer spaces. And they're going to do the same thing. So, so at this point we're just trying to conquer spaces for mana. Okay. Alright, so you send you here. 
you really can't do much, which is fine. Uh, ah. You can't really do much either. Ah. So we got all this space conquered here now. We'll throw in one of you. And we'll call that good. All right, kind of saw that coming. Ooh, we got 30 now, sweet. Now this is where it's gonna get fun because part of me says take out the guy here. And part of me says don't. But I think I will. We'll run that route. But then I'm gonna add in a couple more guys. So one there, and one there. Then we'll move these guys out. And that will be good, good mana use there. Oh. Well, that's a booger. I didn't know his that was like that. Okay, so this guy in the corner here is real dead. He's gone. Hmm. We have 28, which means we can get rid of two guys, that one, and this one. So this guy, we'll just move him, only have eight mana here, we'll move there, and then we'll roll him there. Yeah, that's good. Well, he's as good as dead. He's as good as dead. All right, we got a lot of attacking to do here. So before we even come out, go there, go there. Can't actually attack. Okay. So that pretty much used up all of those guys. 26 gives us the ability to take out two more guys and this guy is all by himself. The only place he can move is here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Hold on. Um, oh, he can actually go. Okay, he can fly or move two spaces. Okay, I see. And six mana will leave us enough with that. Good enough. Oh, but archers are vulnerable if they're next to guys up close, aren't yeah. they? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Get more spaces. Let's also grab more mana. If I use ten, that gives us sixteen. Yeah. Let's do that. Do that. Hmm. Oh, I don't understand how the archers hmm. archer things, like range-wise. I don't know how that works. And then we will place. Hmm. Yeah, we'll place one of these right there. All right. What is? I don't understand the range on these archers. I don't. I just don't understand. But we have forty-six mana, so. Mm. Okay. Well, um, should we do a little retreating maybe? Because they're building up their guys to a, quite an extent. Now, the benefit is they can only move one block with these guys. But this is the issue. And he's actually safe out there. So let's plop in two of these and one of these call it good now I don't understand the archers in the range it doesn't make sense to me oh. at all can, can, can he not attack uh, he can't 
add or remove land. Um. Let's move him there. Get rid of that guy. He's done. All right. So he's probably out the next round. So we need to probably move this guy here, that guy there, and we'll roll with two of these. Saw that coming. Didn't see that coming. Now, benefit of, of, of this guy finally. benefit there. That is awesome. That is simply awesome. Now, we can either plug another one him in, or we can take over some of their land, I think. Oh, take this guy out. Beautiful. Even better. Alright, so... Now we can get back on top. Put an archer there, because he's safe. Uh, why should you roll two archers in? All right, they didn't throw any archers in the bunch. That's always good. All right, so this is the bear. He can move three spaces and then attack. But this guy's also a bear. Hmm. And just in case, we'll roll that in. I like that. All right, sweet. 50 mana, holy smokes. All right, well, one, two, three, so we can't move. Okay, that is the downside to the archers is we're limited to just their ability for attacking unless they're at a certain range. I don't understand their bow range at all. This doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I'll do it that way. Just for the movement speed. And we will place a guy there. Why not? Sure. And my turn again. And the reason it's my turn again, it's not game over, is because the object is to capture territory. Oh, I just, I'm a fool. Hmm. Oh well, let's do that. Hmm. And that. So the object's actually to capture land and not just kill the enemy, so. Little bit more turns, uh, quite a bit of mana, quite a bit spent, a uh, little bit of unspent. I'm not sure what these marks mean, but we used a lot of transformations. So, not bad, not bad. Um, oh, once you progress, though, you can't go back. Interesting. Let's go up. Let's try, let's try another one here. All right, so each type of land belongs to one of the six seasons. Different seasons give you different amounts of mana each turn. Oh, so green ones probably give you two, maybe three per green. Then maybe the darker ones are like two or one. Oh, has high summoner and aladine, aladin fill land pieces. Okay, green gives you two. Oh. Oh. So now this becomes a land of capture the land that you want. All right. So we have a couple of options. We can capture these two tiles. Actually, these three tiles. Ah. So let's go for that one. I can't get this tile because I don't have one of these guys to remove that. Or one of these guys to remove that. So I'm going to use ah. this guy to capture, ah. that guy to capture... Capture another land piece. I want to keep him on there. No, maybe I don't. Um, let's move him here.
Okay, let's move him here. Yeah. Okay. Now, they have a bit of an advantage because they have more dark areas up here, I think. But... Now. This guy moved forward one. He cannot attack me unless I'm right here or here. So, they're kind of the pawns of the chessboard. Luckily, they have no archers, so my idea here is... A, capture a place. B, you're safe. Okay. So we'll do this guy as a transform. Grab more area. Grab this piece of area. Grab that area. And we'll grab... Well, we won't grab anything, but we'll just go here. All right. All right, now they got two archers. This is a bit troublesome, but we have 37 mana. Hmm. Huh. All right. Um. Hmm. Should I get well? All right, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I don't have an option really for attacking. It'll work, I suppose. Not a very good option though. So we did that. Um. This guy's here. Move him there. Huh. This guy's kind of stuck. That's fine. He can be stuck. Uh, huh. This guy. Huh. 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 We own all this land. Oh, he just got... Oh, okay, so a firefly gives mana if you move to that space. Aha. And the more turns they go... Okay, that makes sense. That makes more huh. sense. Okay. More mana. Awesome. Okay, that makes more sense now. So... Now what do we do? Because currently they can't attack us at all. Likewise, us to them. They do have one of these guys who can move three spaces. So let's roll an archer in here. Oh, I don't have that space yet. Interesting. Uh, let's roll an archer there. Maybe a land bridge here. Roll one of these guys in. We'll put him one, two, three. We'll put him here. We'll call that. Oh, and that produced... No oh, interesting. Okay. So, that space now has a firefly on it. We'll grab that space because, well, he's now endangered, theoretically. This guy can move, oh, two spaces by default. Oh, that increases his range. Huh. Oh. Oh. But he can't use his ability. Okay. That's fine. Um. Huh. Okay. Let's take that space. Huh. We'll go here. Huh. This guy. We'll move him here, but we will take out him. Which leaves a space between there. This guy could theoretically attack this guy, maybe. If he can move between this space, over this guy. Or he'll take out the archer, which, okay, big whoop. So, what we'll do... Let's place another one. We'll actually put this guy over here. No. Put this guy over here. No. Put him here. We'll land bridge this. Which may actually hurt me. And we'll put... This really hasn't been a, a, a capture the flag type of deal. Um, for backup, we'll do that, I suppose. Just to have extra guys in the field. Huh. Okay. So... Oh. 
out of there. out of the way so now we got just these guys up here and that one there goodbye you haven't moved yet he can move three spaces if I do this so we'll go one two and three we got those two left and seven mana. So for S's and G's we'll do that. And we'll call that good. Oh my gosh, 70 mana. Oh my word. Alright, so. Hmm. Oh. Three spaces. Oh. Three spaces. So they can cover the same amount of ground. Why don't I just do this? He can attack me, but he cannot. That's fine. Let me... Build a bridge. Let's not. Let's do this. So this guy could attack me, this guy could attack me, this guy could attack any of our guys. Not like we needed it. Uh, so much issues. Okay, so let's just move huh. you... Less more mana. <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. Two spaces. Uh -huh. here. Oh man, all this movement spaces. Uh, yeah, sure why not. Alright, well let's uh, put a bunch of guys in here. So one. These guys are pretty darn OP. I don't think I will. We'll throw one in the mix here, why not. Golly. How many bodies can we fit on this map? Oh. Whoops. Okay, well. Be by be be fine that way, I guess. So one, two, three. Oh no no no. That's oh. Alright. Well you're Gandhi. Oh he's he oh he's done done. Okay. Let's go bear mode. Two and three. Out of there. And now we're getting the hang of it. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, that wasn't bad. So stat-wise, I basically. So as of right now, we know it is land control and placement of troops. As far as troops are concerned, early game capture the squares. Mid game starts battle a little bit. I mean, you're still going for squares, but you still need to build up your troops and then late game is pretty much kill everything, get more mana, and just be OP. So, I think I've kind of got my strategy down. Um, we're going to call it here for an episode. Thank you for watching. Um, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, so, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. I'll continue to do these uh, regardless of likes, videos, comments, etc. Um, as this is actually a game I've been looking forward to play um, all yesterday I was thinking about it so I think I'll continue to do this till I get bored which could be a long time who knows yeah thank you for watching we will see you next time have a good day have a good night have a good afternoon bye bye